St Mary's have a different way of approaching children's learning. They nurture them, they take their time with them. I think St Mary's gives them a chance to become the centre of their own world. It's a rich experience because the children are so warm, they are so friendly. Somewhere every day you see that positive difference that you're making. Every day you're greeted by very sincere and very pure, smiling young people and no agenda but just to be here and sort of living in their moment right now. It's about education, it's about getting qualifications, achievements and ultimately working towards employment and independence. Hello. St Mary's has a wonderful range of resources and facilities. Um, in addition, a really committed and dedicated staff team of therapists, educationists and care staff to support the holistic needs of each child. In terms of resources and provision and what we provide here, it, it's the best you can get. We've got a whole gym set up, we have the trampoline for rebound therapy, a lot of outdoor activities, so we've got bikes and they'll do you know, cycling in the tennis court, um, horticulture boxes. We have on-site speech and language therapists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, as well as a health and wellbeing team made up of nurses and a clinical and educational psychologist. The occupational therapists don't just focus on their showering and toileting and getting dressed and eating, there's a lot of independent living skills that happen, so which is a really key thing for our pupils, that they grow up to be as independent as they can be. What it means is that we can bring different professional opinion together at the same time to make sure that we're looking at each child in a holistic way and then plan and put those things into place and review as we go along. So what we don't have to do is we don't have to wait for someone to come on site and give advice. It means we can all do that together at the same time to make sure that our pupils' needs are really well met. The main thing for us is the signed environment. For a child that relies on signing as their primary means to communicate, they need to communicate with anybody on site, whether that's another child or any member of staff. So we, every class has a sign language lesson weekly. We offer support uh, in the residential areas. Every member of staff needs that ability to sign with every single child and vice versa. How old are you? Mm. Mm. A vocational centre has been set up to um, aid and create an environment of a small village to help post 16 year old students gain life skills. We have the facilities to do stuff that you know other schools you know can't do so the students get that experience. We are in the vocational centre Headdresses. The older children mentor the younger children and that's given him a real sense of achievement and positivity and, and he's really proud of what this other little boy can now do um, because of what Gregory's done and I'm really proud of that too, it's fantastic. The end goal is to produce an individual or a person that is very well-rounded, that can take their place in society, in the world that, that's around them, possibly hold down a job, possibly go on to some sort of independent living. All those essential everyday things that we take for advantage, we've taught them to do. It makes them more integrated and more accepted in the community and that's what I want for my daughter and that's what I want for these students. It's a big family, you've got a lot of staff here all working together to, to meet the needs of the children. It's all about working with that child, you know, you explore what's meaningful to them, you find out how they want to have an input into their therapy. There's no feeling um, comparable to what you get when you see one of your students or young people achieve something and you know the, the proudness on their face. Every day there's some difference that you see and it isn't a massive thing maybe for other people but when they haven't and now they can that's a really big step. Sometimes we see the difference it makes to the family because we have had children come along and without the ability to communicate and if you can't do that they can be very frustrated, angry, aggressive the knock-on effect for family and for siblings can actually be quite devastating. To see the difference that the ability for them to communicate, say that they want something. So many parents say to us, you, you've turned our, our worlds around, you've turned our lives around. I like doing all my work independently. Amazing. It's been really good. It's 
because when I came, I wasn't how I am now, you know. I was so, so shy. I didn't talk to anyone, you know, knew. But now I'm pretty much a chatty girl. <laughs> Gregory's 16. He's been here since he um, was 11. Because he's residential Monday to Friday, he also has a full waking day curriculum, which is great. So he goes out shopping, he has um, life skills, he has travel skills, and you know, all those things that, that he will need if he's going to be able to be independent. I like to do something, not sitting on my backside, do nothing. Yeah, you're quite charming as well, aren't you? You like chatting to everybody. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love working here and I'd love to work here for as, long, for as long as I can and that's why I've been here so long. It becomes part of your life. Once you start at St Mary's, I think you, you fall in love with it very, very quickly. I'm very proud to be part of St Mary's parents and staff team and I know Leo is and um, we're both really happy to be here. For any parents that were thinking about it, I would say to come and have a look around, to come and see and get that feel for the dedication and care that the staff have for the pupils and to see that, yeah, this, this is a life-changing place for the staff and for the pupils.